Las Vegas Convention Center where they're hosting the tournament. Because every time I would try to get out, you would squeeze me back down. Bro one. Bro two. Bro three. Three Yang bros. Hey Shepherds. So it's currently 6 a.m. right now. Uh, we're going to Las Vegas Convention Center today. And we had to leave really or, uh, early today because today is Josh, Joshua's com uh, competition. And yeah, uh, he has to weigh in today, I think 30 minutes before the competition. So we have to go there early. And it's going to take about four hours to get to Las Vegas from Los Angeles. So, and it's very dark, as you can tell. Because it's early and you know, we need to get some sleep as well. Hey guys, we made it to the Las Vegas Convention Center where they're hosting the tournament. Uh, and we're just here at the check ins right now. First, we have to check in so we don't have to pay for the tickets. And yeah, it should be a quick process. Yeah, we'll see you. We are uh, going to the inside the, the spectator to ticket, so we line up to buy the ticket. So here's the two tickets, we buy the $25 each, so uh, except the competitor, uh, so we buy the ticket. So. Now we are going inside, a lot of people to hold over other side of the wall, they're coming. Hey Shepherds, bro two, bro three. And we're gonna do a voiceover right now because we didn't get to record while walking around the venue. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be talking about the venue. The venue was pretty big and it was very nice. They had like at least 30 mats. And on one section, one station, they had like a seminar going on. Yeah, no, the venue was really big. Uh, 30 mats is crazy because in Chido, you usually have Four, uh, maybe four to six. Actually, there's more than thirty mats. There was warm up mats too. Oh yeah, they they just yeah. But they the mats like, were really small, so yeah, they had a couple warm up mats. As you see right now, I'm stretching and yeah, you see a lot of people warming up here. Uh, so I just. Finished and to sum it all up, uh, we did not survive. But yeah, it, it for me it wasn't a good experience. But I'd say it's, it was very humbling and somewhat gonna be a memorable experience because I feel like I'm gonna uh, keep this loss in mind for you know a while now. And. Uh, I feel like sometimes setbacks, uh, if having a setback like this can be a good thing and it was in God's uh, best intention that I lost today. Uh, kind of like a wake up call so I know damn well that I'm going to go back and train harder and uh, be more f focused when I'm doing jujitsu, not slacking off. Uh, do more jujitsu for jujitsu than uh, jujitsu for judo in a sense. So I feel like that would be the best way for me to uh, grow uh, in in the ground. So yeah, it's just finished. Uh, memorable. Uh, it was a memorable experience, and yeah, see you guys next time. So we couldn't find Josh's uh, tournament footage, but sum it all up, he got destroyed 
Yeah, he got uh, triangled in like in two minutes. First match. Yeah, first match. I mean, second match because the first match you got to buy. Yeah. And I had to get prepared for the next day. So we went up to the gym to warm up a little bit. And yeah, we had a lot of fun in the hotel. Today is Jacob's uh, tournament day, and we're just at the warm up match right now. And yeah, how do you feel today? Feel good, kind of sore, I don't know why. Yeah, I didn't lose weight at all this time, and I'm going like a really heavy division, so I don't know how I'll do, but I'll, just, I'll give my best. Think you're ready? Yeah, I think I'm ready. But I haven't been training Jiu Jitsu for a while because I hurt my arm. So I haven't been training for like a month prior to this tournament. So if I lose, I wouldn't be that surprised. So we're gonna go for the win. Yeah, we're gonna go for the win. You better win. You only have three people in your division. If you lose and bring the bronze, we can worry about you for now. Okay. This is your tournament. Okay. You can worry about me tomorrow. Okay? All right. All right. But I'll get first for sure tomorrow. You at least try to get a win. Okay. Uh, hey guys, so we're here at Jiu Jitsu Con, uh, day two. Uh, yesterday uh, I lost, so yeah, I'm here as a spectator today. And although Jacob, you know, it's not fair for me uh, to expect the best from him because he wasn't able to train, it's not fair for others too. But I want to see him uh, try his best. And I want to see him like do well. So yeah, um, I don't expect too much from him because he's been out for a lot of months. But I expect him to at least put up a good fight because he's been doing this kind of sport for his whole life. And this is our second attempt. I hope he gets a medal, but I don't expect him to do too good. So this is the Wayne's. We all had to cut weight. I had to cut like about like one pound. Uh, I recommend not losing a lot of uh, weight for jiu-jitsu tournaments, especially IBJJF, because you do not have a lot of time to rehydrate and get the electrolytes you need in your body. So I, I didn't lose a lot of weight because I felt like if I lost a lot of weight, I'll get more tired than the night. So I just uh, finished weigh-ins and I'm gonna I'm waiting in the bullpen until they call my name. Yeah, I'm gonna compete soon. Well, I'm turn on deck. So Jacob is next match after these ladies. He's just waiting for his match. It looks like his opponent is a lot bigger than him. Hopefully he tries his best. Hopefully he wins. But I'm not too sure. So here is before my game. I wasn't really nervous because I felt like I was stronger. Like just by looking at him, he was like skinnier and taller. So I felt like I was stronger. But yeah, I was really confident right now. I, I searched up his name up on the internet. I knew that he was going to do Delhi Eva. But yeah, he was really skillful. And once he got the hook in, like it was really hard to take it out. And yeah, he wouldn't really stand up because he's more of a guard player than a top player. Yeah, and he had looks like he has really long legs. Yeah, so. that's he has really long legs. I think he likes to do the triangle. I think I think that's like his favorite. Looks like he's maybe. trying to drag you down. Yeah, he, he got my belt and he then he your back. Yeah, yeah, he tries to take my back. I think I escaped this one, but no. Wait, let's see. I don't really remember because this was so what was ago. your plan when you stood up here what were you trying to do i was just trying to stand up and t take his arm off my neck because he was choking he was trying to choke me and then after that um i don't know what i was thinking but i should have took the legs out first huh because he was just trying to choke me so i i really wanted to get my neck out 
And right now, you see he's doing Deli Hiva, Deli Hiva. It's just really hard to escape that Deli Hiva because his legs are really long. Looks like, right. his, yeah. Looks like his bottom control is really good. Yeah. And right here, I try to like flip him, like get his belt and flip him over so I could pass. But his legs were super long and it was like slouching on my arms. So it was really hard to pick up my arms. And after this, like I got really tired because I, I'll use like a lot of my energy for, for that. And yeah, I think he's going to Delaheva me here. Maybe. It's like he's looking to uh, sweep you at this point. At this point, no, I knew I was stronger, but he was really hard to pass because I don't know his long legs. I think it. he just knows where to put his weight. Yeah, and he yeah. knows what he's doing. Like, he's been doing jujitsu for a while. I just, I seen his profile. He, he got third place. Yeah, he was pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, right now he's doing. I don't know what he did right there. But I think he takes my back here. Yeah, and he gets that. F Wait, he, he already had a four point. Yeah, he, he has four points right now. And if if they if they take your back, you get four points. So yeah, just for your information. So he's winning by four. Yeah, he's winning by four. And there's two minute thirty seconds left in the clock. As you see, bro, as you see here, like you can see that he's doing a body lock on a body lock on me. It's like really hard to escape that because whenever I try to like. Whenever I try to get up, he would squeeze my body and bring me back down. And my goal was just to get out of that body lock, but it was really hard. And yeah, especially because he has long legs, like his body lock is probably really, really hard to get out of. I think he just gets me in a body lock for the whole match. That's how I lose. Yeah, he wins by time and points. Yeah, he wins by time and points. Like I really couldn't do anything here because of his leg, long legs. And like he was just trying to choke me, so I had to focus on. For, I first had to focus on the choke because I don't want to get choked. I didn't get. I don't want to get submitted. And then after like, I ensured that I wasn't getting submitted. I had to focus on his legs because his legs were keeping me in place where I couldn't like really move. So yeah. I needed to train a little harder, practice my moves a little bit more so that I can one day become a champion. Here we are exploring the venue. Uh, there were a lot of people selling things here, like uh, Jiu Jitsu geese and merch. And some things like you could log in and get stuff for free, but yeah, we didn't do any of that. We were just exploring. So this portion of the venue was for a jiu-jitsu seminar where professionals would teach their skills and knowledge to other people but we didn't have time for it because we had to leave on the day of my tournament because we had a judo training camp. So today I lost my first match by four points because he took my back and I he did a body lock on me and I couldn't really get out of it because every time I would try to get out he would 
squeeze me back down. Um, I'm kind of uh, disappointed, but I'm actually uh, proud that I made some improvements because I guess that guy's the second seed and he uh, saw his other matches and he summited another guy. So I think I did pretty good. Next time I could do better. <laughs>